Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, mister. So just give me a second. Okay, great. So I got this one here. There's so many of you are going in here. Okay, guys, so welcome to this uh, module number three from BASIC, right? It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos, and I am going to be uh, your teacher, right? And just to start, I would like you to turn on your cameras, guys, because I feel uncomfortable like to be only me with the cameras on. And then I don't know if you're like there or what. Okay, Evans. So so that way we get to know each other and I can see you guys and you can see me. So give me one second, guys. I'm just loading the attendance list. Just to start. Hmm. At a full house. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the attendance list before, you know, like, uh, you know, like I um, start with the class content and what we're going to be discussing. Mm -hmm. Andy Beatriz. Okay, apparently it's not here. Uh, Ana Cristina. Okay, so not even Anna. Brian Aldair. Good evening. Teacher, eh, solo comentarle que voy a estar me, uh, modo oyente ahorita mientras llego a la casa porque no he llegado todavía. Mm, ok. Ok, no problem. Give me Thank a second. You. Ok, give me a second, guys. And this, ok, get it. What is it? Give me a second. Ok. So Brian is here. Um, Carlos Antonio. Okay, Carlos. Okay, so Carlos is not here yet. Uh, let's move. Carlos Enrique. Okay, good. Claudia Marcela. Okay, so she's not here yet. Uh, Doris Alejandra. All right, so she's not here. Uh, Evelyn Karina. Okay, not even her. Graciela Saray. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Irma del Tránsito. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. You are there. Jacqueline Yvonne. I'm here, teacher. Okay, excellent. Juan Carlos Fuentes. I am here, teacher. Okay, good. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Kenia Maricela. All right, so Kenny is not here yet. Uh, Maritza Elizabeth. Okay, no here. Marvin Alexander. Oh, 
Ok, so he's not here. Pedro Rigoberto. Ok, so he's not here yet. Rosalí Ivonne. Present teacher. Ok, good. Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right. And we got the last person, Teresa Noemi. You see Teresa here? Uh, uh, okay, so she's not here yet. Ah, okay. So we got Adi Beatriz, so she's here. So I'm going to include her. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. All right, guys. As I said, I'm going to be your teacher for this uh, module. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself again. My name is Juan Carlos, right? I'm from Oriente. And uh, as I said, we are going to be, you know, like uh, discussing the main contents uh, throughout this module. And uh, the way I work is like, I want you to feel confident with me, guys, uh, and uh, for each other at the moment of, you know, like uh, studying uh, the topics. And uh, most of the classes, I like to be participative because the more you practice, the more you will get to know with the language, right? So we're going to uh, do the best just to, you know, like go through this module. Uh, before uh, starting with the class, I am going to show you some guidelines that are really necessary uh, you know, like for us to keep in mind. So, antes de comenzar, vamos a, a ver algunas de las cosas básicas eh, que tenemos que hacer durante el módulo. Bueno, es algo que al inicio de cada módulo, pues nos piden eh, proveer esta información. Eh, es más que todo un par de generalidades, generalidades que ustedes, pues, ya saben, ok? So, Give me a second, guys. I'm going to show you this presentation. All right, guys, can you confirm if you can see my screen? Pueden confirmar si pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, yes. right. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is like the module, uh, basic module number three, right? So this is like part of the background of the teacher that is going to be with you, in this case, me. Right, so I got a bachelor's degree in English and I got, a, you know, like some specializations and some experience working as a teacher in other institutions, right? So this is like kind of my profile. And after this, guys, let's just start with what it really matters, all right? The requirements, or in this case, los requerimientos que pues eh, Insafor nos pide eh, para poder completar de manera satisfactoria el curso. All right, so just to get to know this. Guillermo, ¿podría ayudarme a leer el primer punto, por favor? Sí, eh, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Ok, good. Es una de las cosas que pues Insafor eh, nos pide a todos. Ok, al momento de podernos conectar a la plataforma, eh, conectarnos con el nombre completo, ya que se han dado casos que a veces eh, no aparece el nombre de la persona con la que, la que está inscrita, entonces han habido algunos inconvenientes. Así que para evitar ese tipo de situaciones, por eso siempre es bueno conectarse pues, eh, con el nombre completo. Right? To every class. Uh, en el caso de oyentes... Eh, que creo que en este, en este grupo no van a ver, pues, eh, o en algunos casos, pues, cuando eh, estemos trabajando o definitivamente no nos podemos, eh, no podemos participar, puedes agregar la palabra oyente, right, 
justo después de su nombre. Uh, another, another aspect is like, recuerden, eh, en la mayoría de, de, de minutos que van a estar en la clase, mantener lo más que se pueda la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Es algo que pues es bastante importante, ya que de ese modo, pues yo identifico que ustedes están ahí y pues ya que las clases también son auditadas, eh, así en sabor, pues básicamente es, se da cuenta si es realmente la persona que está inscrita quien está recibiendo la clase, right? Sí. And otro punto bastante importante es minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, ya que al momento pues, de estar explicando algún tema eh, puede haber interferencia eh, si tenemos el micrófono encendido o a veces se nos olvida que tenemos el micrófono encendido y eh, escuchamos conversaciones un tanto... Uh, extrañas o un tanto incómodas que pues digamos que ni nosotros queremos escuchar ni usted como participante quisiera que nosotros escucháramos así que para evitar esos inconvenientes uh, remember all right, try to keep your microphone off all right. y pues como les mencionaba anteriormente la participación activa ok eh, espero que en este en este grupo pues cuando toque participar no apaguen los micrófonos y apaguen las cámaras y pues, no hay nadie acá, ¿ok? Recuerden que entre más participen es mejor, pues más se practica el idioma, ¿ok? Esto en cuanto a los requerimientos. Ahora bien, en cuanto a la asistencia, ¿ok? Esto pues igual es algo que ustedes eh, ya manejan bastante, right Uh, pues Insafor pide una asistencia del 100% a las clases, pero bueno, a veces por algo motivo pues no nos podemos conectar eh, a las clases y pues por eso eh, un mínimo uh, de asistencia pues eh, de acuerdo a Insafor es el 80% que ustedes deben asistir a las clases, right y recuerden que la asistencia no solamente se va a tomar a estar presente, sino también a cumplir con la clase completa, ¿ok? Como parte de los lineamientos. Otro aspecto es que la asistencia antes se tomaba tres veces eh, durante la clase, ahora solo lo vamos a hacer en dos ocasiones, al conectarnos a la clase y al finalizar la clase, ¿ok? Y se tomará como válido escuchar al participante, o sea, ustedes, decir ya sea presente o present, right? Y como les mencionaba anteriormente, tratar de mantener la cámara encendida. Al finalizar la clase, recuerden que eh, tenemos también las sesiones de uno a uno disponibles. ¿Cuál es la finalidad de, de estas sesiones? Pues son 10 minutos asignados a cada uno de ustedes para poder aclarar cualquier duda que ustedes puedan tener con relación ya sea a la clase que se ha visto y o clases anteriores, ¿ok? Ya sea que tengamos algún tipo de, eh, de duda con respecto a ello, ¿ok? Y pues según el programa de SAFORP, los permisos en esta modalidad no están disponibles, ¿right? Eso en cuanto a la asistencia. Now, con respecto a las tareas y evaluaciones, que es algo que igual ustedes también ya, ya suelen manejar bastante bien. Como les mencionaba anteriormente, con la asistencia es necesario tener un 80% así mismo, como mínimo, así mismo, eh, en cuanto a, la, a las tareas, ¿ok? Es necesario tener, ya sea, el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso de manera satisfactoria, ¿ok? Uh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, ¿ok? Recuerden que esas eh, se deben de hacer, pues, lo más recomendable justo después de cada clase o al siguiente día de haber eh, tenido la clase. Right? Eh, dice, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas. En este caso, he puesto martes. Y ya les voy a explicar el por qué. Dice, antes de cada martes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro pues eh, es enviado uh, con sus notas, al Insafor semanalmente, por lo menos esta semana, aclarando eso, 
por lo menos esta semana, uh, vamos a terminar semana 1, el día lunes, right Pero como vamos a tener un día sueto, que será el miércoles de la próxima semana, por el Día de la Madre, entonces ese día no vamos a tener clase. Entonces ahí ya se nos va a correr un día más. Ya luego no va a ser el día lunes la finalización de cada semana, sino ya será el día martes. Ok, so, por eso es que en el siguiente punto eh, dice la fecha límite para terminar el examen eh, medio, el que se hace a la, a la segunda semana o midterm, es el día martes 16, right? antes de la medianoche. Y así mismo el examen final o final exam eh, será el día martes 30, que si no tenemos ningún inconveniente ese día estaríamos terminando el, con la última clase del módulo. Right. El manual igual puede ser descargado de la plataforma y en este curso no se utiliza eh, materiales de tercero, ok, en ninguna excepción, puesto que las clases son grabadas y subidas a la, a una, a la plataforma de YouTube, así para evitar cualquier tipo de inconvenientes. All right, so esto es básicamente, eh, digamos, como una inducción a lo de las tareas, a las cosas que, pues, tenemos que hacer, right? Uh, before starting, guys, ¿alguna, ¿alguna pregunta antes de comenzar? Any question? Todos los que están acá ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿O hay alguno que no esté todavía? I, I have a question, teacher. Ajá, Juan. ¿Habrá la posibilidad? No sé si se podrá, ¿no? ¿Habrá la posibilidad de que se pueda pasar lista a eso de las 8 y 20. 8 y 20. Sí. Why? La primera. Why? La primera. You're not gonna be here? Eh, más que todo por, porque a veces, pues, yo sé que es un compromiso el que hemos adquirido, ¿no? Uh -huh. A veces, pues, nos agarra la tarde y, pues, vamos llegando y, pues, esos minutitos al final, pues, pueden pasar a factura. Digo que 20 minutos o 30. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. No, en este caso, eh, lo que podemos hacer, Juan, simplemente cuando usted se conecte, eh, encienda su micrófono y dígame, teacher, ya me conecté, right? So, así yo le asigno la, la, la asistencia. Ya, yeah, I mean, I think, eh, eh, creo que podemos hacer eso sin ningún, ningún inconveniente, right? Okay, thanks. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm Cristina Hernandez. Ah, okay, perfect. I'm just going to add you to, to the attendance list, okay? Ya la voy a agregar a la lista de asistencia, entonces. All right. Sí, gracias. Solamente, sí, solamente quería hacerle la aclaración. Ahora me habló eh, una muchacha de, 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 de Insafor, ¿verdad? Y yo le comentaba mi situación. Yo le comentaba mi situación. Eh, pues mi madre falleció. Hace poco, ¿verdad? Y estoy yendo a misas acá cerca de la colonia a las siete y media de la noche. Por lo tanto, voy a conectarme un poquito, un poquito tarde, ¿verdad? Y si me conecto entre ocho y ocho y diez, pero no voy a, 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 a estar activa, digamos, por unos quince minutos en lo que vengo a casa. ¿Verdad? Mm. Solamente eso. Pues y igual ya escuché que le dijo a, a mi compañero que que cuando nos conectara, se conectara después de las ocho, pues que, que dijera que ya estaba presente, ¿verdad? Exacto. Así que, agradecerle pues, eso. Exacto, y así de ese modo para poderlos agregar a ya la asistencia y no va a haber ningún inconveniente, ¿ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, very good. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Yo aún no, no me han enviado enlace para agregarme al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok, no problem. Ahorita, bueno... Ahorita se lo voy a enviar yo, no se preocupe, se lo voy a enviar por acá para que se pueda conectar. All right, just give me a second. Good evening, teacher. A mí no me mencionó en la lista. Ok, give me a second. Ya, permítame un segundo, ya la busco. Estoy buscando el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, here it is. I'm going to send it here. Para los que no se han conectado a... Uh, 
no, no, se han, no se han unido al grupo, este es el link. Lo acabo de enviar al chat. De acá, de Zoom. All right, so, ¿quién me ha mencionado que no, no, lo, había, no lo había mencionado en, en, en la asistencia? Evelyn Karina. Ah, Evelyn Karina, give me one second, Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Yo igual, terminando de pasar la asistencia, iba cuando me conecté. Ah, okay. Marvin Alexander Jiménez. Ok, ahorita lo agrego. Ok, excelente. Ok, perfecto. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. There you go. Ok, uh, ¿todos tienen el manual ya? ¿O hay alguno que no lo tenga todavía? Porque si no lo tienen eh, y ya están en el grupo de WhatsApp, se los puedo mandar ahí para que lo puedan descargar. Por favor. Yo aún no lo tengo. Chat, Perfecto. Perfecto. Entonces, los que no se han unido al grupo de WhatsApp, por favor, háganlo. Y, y ahorita voy a enviar el, el manual ahí para que lo puedan descargar, ¿ok? Give me one second. So here it is. Give me one second, guys. All right, so give me one second. It's loading in here. Ya, yeah, ahorita lo estoy, lo estoy, eh, está subiendo. Permítanme un segundo. Ya se va a enviar. Ok, gracias. Un segundo. This is running slow. Okay, good. So it is it is just loading. Ya les va a caer. Eh, okay, and before starting with the main class, guys. I would like to know uh, a little bit more about you, right? Like uh, try to get to know each other. I think it will be like a good way to start. Okay, so let's start just by, you know, like getting to know each other. No sé si todos los que están acá estuvieron en el módulo anterior. Te voy a suponer que la mayoría son de diferentes grupos. Así que uh, I would like to know uh, a little bit of you guys, all right? where you live, all right? What is like, you know, like the area that you generally work, like in my case, I'm gonna start. Uh, I live in San Miguel, right? So so let's start by that. I would like to know where you live, guys. Guillermo, for example, where do you live, Guillermo? Uh, good evening, everyone. I live in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay, cool. You live in Santa Tecla. That's nice. That's nice. What about you, Evelyn? <laughs> Evelyn, what do you say? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like Olocuilta. Ah, you live in Olocuilta? Live in Olocuilta. The pupusas land. That's cool, man. <laughs> that is cool. All right. What about you, Juan? Hi, good evening, everybody. Uh, well, I live in Soyapango City. Okay, good. 
school. Most of you are from, from the central area, in that school. Okay, good. What about you, Katya? Where do you live? Hello. Hello. Um, I live in San Salvador. Okay, good, San Salvador. Nice, thank you. Ana Cristina, and you? Good evening. Good evening. Um, I live in Ciudad Merrido. No, okay, great. Great. Yeah, I mean, most of you are like from Central Area. That's cool. Marvin, and you? I live in Oloquilta. Ah, you got another one from Oloquilta. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, nice. Ali, and you? Good evening. I live in Soyapango. Okay, good. Like Juan. Okay. Nice. You you know each other? <laughs> Se conocen ustedes o no? <laughs> no. Mel. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Now, and what about you, Irma? I live in Cincinnati. Ah, okay. From Occidente. Okay. That's cool. There you go, Irma. Rosalie. Thank you for the manual teacher. Ah, okay. Ya les cayó, ¿verdad? Yeah. I am in Vicent. Good evening, everybody. I live in, in Mexicanos. Ah, okay. Very good. There you go. And uh, Teresa. Hi, everyone. I live in Lourdes. Okay, good. Good. In Jacqueline. I live on Cojutepeque. Okay, good. Cojutepeque. All right. And most of you are like from Central Area. Graciela. And you? I live in San Salvador. Okay, good. There you go. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Brian has participated. Hey, you, Brian. I live in uh, Ciudad Delgado. Okay, good. Here you go. Carlos. Hey, teacher, ¿será que me puede agregar al grupo de WhatsApp? Por favor. You know that? Uh, the, no. link, the link is in the chat, in the Zoom chat. Okay. Yeah, the link is there. You live in Santa Tecla? Ah, okay. Okay. Good, Mr. Susana. I live in Soyapango, teacher. Okay, good. And we've got the last one over here, Pedro. I live in Ilopango. Okay, good, good. Ilopango. There you go. Okay, I mean, most of you, there is only one person from Occidente. <laughs> okay, that's cool. And then most of you are from the central area. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, in my previous modules, in mis módulos anteriores, algunos me decían un, algo así como tipo bullying, porque yo les decía que soy de Oriente, de la tierra donde, donde, donde les hacen bullying por todos lados, San Miguel, right? So, okay, apparently I'm the only one from San Miguel. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's, ah, but, but that's nice. That's really cool. All right. So let's start, guys. Let's start with the first topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. So give me a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to show you something before starting off with this. Oops. Save. Oh yeah, it's this.
Okay, there you go. So this is the first topic that we're going to be discussing, guys. All right, how to use infinitives. When it comes to the word infinitives, uh, have you ever heard this, this topic before, guys? Infinitive? ¿No vez habían escuchado este tema? Infinitive? I think in the previous modules, you, you get to know a little bit about this. Okay, if not, guys, we're going to start with this. Okay, what was the most relevant or what is the most relevant that we are going to be discussing throughout this class tonight? All right, the first thing that we did was the attendance list, then the program rules and explanation. Now we're going to start with the discussion about how to use infinitives. Then you're going to provide examples related to uh, the topic. And uh, after that, we have a short conversation in the manuals. Okay, and after that short conversation, we are going to be working in a couple of exercises in the manual. So basically, this is like the agenda that we are going to be, you know, like discussing throughout this class time. Okay, so let's start. Guys. Infinitives. Okay, basically, an infinitive, guys, is just adding the preposition to to the verb. Okay, and what do we use an infinitive for? All right, so in this case, Marvin, help me out reading this part, please. Excuse me, teacher. Help me out reading the, the sentence, please. Tengo mala señal, creo, le escuché cortado. No. Okay, ayúdeme a leer la oración, please. Ah, okay. Infinitive are words used to express purpose purpose okay purpose. there you go thank you marvin so basically lo que un infinitivo hace es eh, es una palabra que expresa propósito according to this okay y en pocas palabras para que me entiendan mejor un infinitivo es básicamente un verbo okay en el cual se le agrega la preposición to Okay, a eso se le conoce como un infinitivo. All right, and what do we use an infinitive for? Check this out, for example, in the mission statement of a company. All right, like the main topic that we're going to be discussing is going to be focused on the mission and vision statement of a company. Okay, that's going to be the topic that we're going to be discussing. For example, check this out, Rosalie. Help me out reading this example, please. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete. Athlete? In the world. Athlete in the world. Okay, thank you. So it says to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Okay, guys. So basically, this part that you got over here, this one over here, is basically the infinitive. ¿Cuál es la función que tiene este verbo convertido en infinitivo acá? Okay, simple. Básicamente lo que hace es actuar como el sujeto dentro de una oración. Okay, un verbo que va a un inicio de una oración con la preposición to se convierte en un nombre, all right? Y ese nombre se le conoce como infinitive in this case. Good. And what are we showing in this case? ¿Y qué estamos denotando acá? Okay, básicamente estamos expresando un propósito. Okay? We are expressing a purpose. A purpose of what? Ah, it says to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. So, básicamente, ahí lo que estamos denotando es un propósito. ¿Y cuál es el propósito? Bueno, lo mostrado en la misión de esta compañía. Dice traer inspiración y, e innovación 
a cada atleta en el mundo. So basically, in here, is just showing a purpose. Parte de la clase la vamos a tener enfocada a la misión y visión de las empresas, okay? We're going to be discussing how important it is to know the vision and mission of our companies. So let's continue with this. Okay, check this out. Uh, let me see. Juan, help me out reading this part, please. Sorry. Help me out reading uh, the next uh, sentence. Okay. And infinity is basically, basically uh, to basically? put the basically to put the preposition to plus the base four of a verb. Okay, very good. As I was saying, basically a preposition is set in there before the verb, right? And the preposition that we use is the preposition to. Okay. For example, check this out to eat, to work, to play, to make, to send, and to write. Acá ya el verbo no es simplemente un verbo, simplemente, uh, okay, uh, the base form. Acá ya con la preposición to se le conoce como infinitivo, right? Y que puede ir después de otro verbo o puede ir como un sujeto o En este caso, cuando se inicia una oración, right? Que ahí ya es como un nombre, right? So let's copy that, guys. And then we are going to uh, continue with a couple of extra examples with this. When you finish taking notes, let me know, okay? So I can move on to the next slide. Ok, cuando terminen de copiar, me avisen, por favor, para poder pasar a la siguiente slide. Ok, nice. Ok, now let's continue then. Oops, give me a second. I'm gonna... Ok, great. Ok, so now. Let's check this. Okay, so this is like an extra meaning of an infinity. Irma, can you please help me a reading? Uh, infinity are um, also also used to express direction, like in this statement. Uh, Stem for of a company. Uh -huh. e example, EG means example, okay? EG, where is the company going? Okay, basically, where is the company going? Okay, thank you, Irma. For example, guys, check this out. This is the vision of a normal company. Okay, so Kenya, help me reading the vision of this company. Lo siento, no, no me acabo de conectar porque me había desconectado. Ah, okay, good. No, solamente ayúdeme a leer esa parte de la, de la, del ejemplo, please. No problem. 
eh, todo, ¿verdad? No, donde dice our vision. Ah, ok. Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by Ay, se me olvidó. 2020. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can say 2020 or 2020, okay? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Kenya. All right, so basically what, what we got in here, guys, is just to use, okay, listen, to use infinitives to mention the vision of a company. So in that way, you are showing a direction, ¿ok? Básicamente cuando usamos un infinitivo para mencionar, por ejemplo, la visión de una empresa, ahí estamos expresando la dirección o el objetivo que pretende una empresa alcanzar. All right, now I ask you guys, ¿ustedes conocen la misión y la visión de los lugares donde ustedes trabajan? Do you know that, guys? Okay, some of you says no, some of you say yes, algunos así como que, ah, no, no, no sé cuál que es eso. Okay, now, but let's, let's, let's take a look at this. For example, let's remember, in the vision and mission of a company, it's basically to show where the company is going and what the company wants to reach in a future, right? So basically that's the mission and vision of a company. Luego después de eso vamos a hacer un par de ejemplos con relación a eso. Y vamos a mencionar los, las mission statements and vision statements from your companies, guys, All right? So check this out. Some extra examples about infinitives. Un infinitivo también no solamente puede ir al principio de una oración, también puede ir justo después de otro verbo adicional. Ok, for example, un infinitivo puede ir justo después del verbo want. Ok, después del verbo want, si ustedes van a mencionar un, un verbo adicional, ese verbo tiene que ir con la preposición to, o sea, en infinitivo. For example, the one that we got over here. Uh, let me see. Evelyn, help me out reading, please. I want to become fluent in English. Ah, okay, very good. I want to become fluent in English. Good. This is, creo que con este ejemplo voy a comenzar a hacer algún tipo de preguntas. Check this out. What do you want? Okay, guys. If I ask this question, si yo les pregunto, what do you guys want? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo ustedes sobre qué quieren usando el verbo want? For example, I want to buy a new car. I want to escalate on my job. Okay. Examples I like... I want to English uh, very well, learn very well. I want to learn English very well. That will very be the well. same. Okay, very good one. Good example. Good. Para los demás, si gustan, anotenlo. Cuando lo tengan, me avisan y me lo leen. Okay? Puede hacer otra, Juan, if you want. Right? Okay. You can write it down, right? Write down using that. Y de esa forma me le dan respuesta a esta pregunta. What do you guys want? No se olviden que después del verbo want, tienen que colocar un verbo. Verbo adicional. ¿Ok? Like in the example you get there. Let me know when you finish and you can read the example. Finish, teacher. Okay, good. Help me out reading, Guillermo. I want to travel to Colombia. Ah, okay, good. I want to travel to Colombia. Good example. Somebody else? Alguien más? 
I want to eat hamburger. Okay, I want to eat a hamburger. Hey, me too. I'm hungry, man. I haven't eaten dinner. Okay, good example, Adi. Yo también tengo hambre. Okay, good. Now, somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> Alguien más? All right, Teresa. Okay, I want to speak English. Okay, very good. I want to speak English. Y podemos agregarle ahí una partecita más. Fluently. Okay. Gracias. There you go. Thank you to you, Teresa. Somebody else, guys? Anything más? I want to be a better mom. Ah, okay. Good. I want to be a better mom. There you go. How many kids do you have, Rosalie? One. One kid. One kill. Oh, okay, I mean, that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Somebody else? I want I to have a cup. Okay, okay. First, Anna and then Evelyn. Anna? Cristina. Ah, Cristina. Okay. You hate Anna, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Prefiero Cristina. No problem, no problem, Cristina. It's like me. My name is Juan Carlos, and I prefer Juan and not Carlos. I hate Carlos. You see me saying Carlos? Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Same to you. All right, Cristina. Read your sentence. What? No le escuché la oración. Can you read it again? Okay. I want to have a truck. Ah, okay, I want to have a truck. Okay, good example, thank you. Evelyn? I want a pair of shoes. Okay, you want to buy, you want to use, or you want to have? Necesitamos un verbo después de want, Evelyn. Okay. Sure. Podemos poner el verbo buy, por ejemplo, comprar. I want to buy. 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 ¿Ah? ah, ok, ok, ok. I want to buy a pair of shoes. And that would be a good example. Right? So, thank you, Evelyn. Somebody else? I want to start with the Mister, I think you got problems with the microphone. Creo que ten, tenemos un problema con el micrófono porque le escucho, le escucho poco. I want to study Excel. Ah, okay. You want to study Excel. Okay. Me too. I have problems working with Excel. Ah, I hate Excel. But anyways, that's part of our daily lives. Thank you, Carlos. Somebody else? I want to go to Europa. Europa. Okay. I want to go to Europe. Yes. Okay, good. Me too. I want to go to Europe. <laughs> there you go, Jacqueline. Good example. Uh, somebody else? I want to travel to war. I want to travel to? Yes. ¿A, ¿A qué lugar? No lo escuché muy bien. Al mundo, the world. Ah, I want to travel around the world. That would be the sentence. Around the world. Okay, good. Good example, Irma. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más? Sure. I want to learn English for traveling to South Korea. I want to travel, I mean, I want to learn English to travel to South Korea. Why, why South Korea, Graciela? Because in this country, how do you say, hay un parque? There are a park? 
there about, is there is a park uh -huh. yeah. there is a park about what bob sponja ah there is a bush spawn park really yes i didn't i didn't know that no sabía eso juraba juraba que usted me iba a decir porque ahí es donde está mi grupo coreano favorito. <laughs> Muchos bien dichos. <laughs> okay, Graciela. Very good. Juan, you were about to say something? Is correct this teacher. Um, I want to employ it uh, for ever helping the people. Mm -hmm. I want to employ it for ever helping the people. It's correct? With bad. Mm, es que employer no es un verbo. Ese es el detalle. Ok. ¿Qué me quiso, me, me quiso decir ahí en, en sí? Um, I think so. Quiero trabajar para siempre ayudando a la gente. Ah, I want to work. En vez de employer, sería work. I want to work. I want to work to help. I want to. Uh, I want to work to help other people. Así okay. sería. Ok. Thanks. Yeah. Después de se puede utilizar doble, teacher. Sí, se puede utilizar doble infinitivo. Right? Va, lo pueden okay. hacer de esta manera, miren. En el caso del I want to work to help other people. All right. O también. I want to work for helping other people. All right, so you got two ways of how doing the same uh, sentence. Son dos maneras eh, gramaticalmente diferentes, pero significan lo mismo, okay? Siempre recuerda, Juan, que después de want, el siguiente tiene que ser un verbo, y ese verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo, okay? Este es el que importa más. After want, it has to be an infinitive. All right? Okay. Good. Perfect. Alguien más que todavía no haya participado en el ejemplo? Hi. Uh, I want to see the aurora boreal. Is ah. or not? Yeah, yeah, oh, the boreal aurora. Okay, good. In which countries can you see that one, Marvin? Um, Europe, Iceland, right? Iceland. Ah, Norway. Uh -huh. Norway. <laughs> Only the last one. In Canada. I want too. to sleep every day. <laughs> okay, good. Man, I want to sleep. <laughs> Me too, I want to sleep every day. Pero es sad cuando hay que trabajar de noche. That's cool, that's cool. But anyways, that's part of all right. We went money and no problem, right? Okay, guys, good. Now let's continue with this. Give me a second. I'm gonna clean up this and let's continue. Check this another example that we got here. Um Katia, help me read in this example. She needs to practice more in class. Ah, okay, she needs to practice more in class. So, después del verbo need, también es necesario que el siguiente verbo que vayamos a mencionar sea infinitive, right? Like in this case, she needs to practice more in class, right? Like ella necesita practicar más en clase, ¿sí? And we got another one over here. Graciela, help me a reading. You like to be called Graciela or Sarai? Which one do you prefer? Así para, anyway. para, que, para que no diga el teacher me dice el nombre que no me gusta. Anyway. Ah, okay, cool. All right, so help me a reading this example, please. Which one? The last one. Our purpose is to help every student to improve okay very good my purpose in this case guys is to help you 
okay, to improve your English, right? Right, so mi propósito es ayudarlos a mejorar en su inglés, right? So to improve, right, in your English. So that's part of my mission that I got on you guys throughout this module. All right, so basically uh, these are, you know, like a couple of examples using an infinitive after verbs. Okay, good. Now, this is like just the grammar part. Now I want we to move out to the manual. Ahora vamos a dejar de lado un poco la gramática y nos vamos a ir al manual. Okay. Let's open up your manuals, guys, on page number nine. Right. Page number nine. Vamos a irnos a la página nueve del manual. I'm going to project the manual in here. For the ones who are working on the cell phone, I'm going to project the manual over here. Here you have. Okay. And let's start with this. Cool. Let's start with this couple of example questions that we got over here, guys. And the first question says, is it important for staff to know the mission and vision of the company? What do you think about these guys? Do you think it's really necessary to know the mission and the vision of a company? ¿Creen que es necesario conocer la misión y visión de la empresa donde laboran? Yes, this yes is or no? Yes. Ah, okay, why? Por qué? I would like to, 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 to have a couple of uh, participations. Porque se fija la meta donde se quiere llegar. Se tiene claro qué es lo que quiere en lo que quiere trabajar la compañía. Okay, very good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Um, well, uh, because it is important that we know your ideas, ideal, ideas. Ideals, okay, good. It's important to know the company's ideals in this case. Okay, very good, very good. All right, guys, and uh, do you know the mission and vision of your companies? If you know them, all right, podrían escribirmela? ¿Podrían escribirme la misión de su empresa? ¿O algo que se asemeje a ella si no la sabemos? Can you write it down, please? But in English, okay? But in English, not Spanish. In el okay? chat. Teacher, it has to be in English. In el no, chat. No, write it down in your notebook, and then when you okay. finish, we will do the same as the example before. You will read it for me, okay? But write it down. Try to write it down and then you will read it for me. I think that would be a good way of doing it. Let's write it down, right? Si comenzamos con la misión, recuerden, puede, pueden comenzar. Our mission is to, y luego el verbo con el que inician la misión, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si yo tuviese que hacer una misión para ustedes, guys, yo diría... Our mission, como empresa, our mission is to help you improve your English skills. All right. Pero si ven, después de is, yo tengo 
el infinitivo acá. Que me dice lo que pretendo lograr con ustedes. Teacher. Eh, yes. Eh, I need help. Um, how okay. do you pronounce, how do you say reliable in English? Reliable in English. Reliable. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Reliable. That's the word. Let me know when you finish, okay? So we can start. That's cool, man. Me llega su compañerismo. Alguien pide el manual y se lo envían por tres. That's nice. Okay, man. Okay. Let me know when you finish, okay? I am finished, teacher. Perfect, perfect. I think we're going to wait for everybody to finish just to start, ¿ok? Vamos a dejar que los demás terminen para poder comenzar a leerlas. So, I finished, teacher. Ok, hey, perfect. Excellent. Ok, creo que ya la mayoría terminó. Así que, let's start with this. Eh, Guillermo, I'm going to start with you because you were the first one who told me to finish. Can you please read your, your mission? Uh, our mission is to, is to break down boundaries so you can pursue your journey. Ah, ok. Very good. Thank you. Guillermo, I will let you know to choose your next participant. Voy a darle el placer de escoger al próximo participante. Let me see. The yes, next one. one is Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Okay, Ana. Can you read it? Cristina. <laughs> ah. Que conste Cristina, ok, no Ana. Cristina, perdón. Ok, thank you, Guillermo. You're welcome. Ok. Um, I am a teacher. I work in a Rupa School. And the mission uh, of my school is to provide comprehensive 
quality education, talking into account the social affective and economic characteristics of vulnerable, I don't know, teacher. Vulnerable. vulnerable sector of Salvadorian society. Society. Society, huh? Society. Society, okay. Wow. And and the vision uh -huh. to take to take our pedagogical model outside our facilities mm -hmm. and El Salvador so that more children can benefit from it. Okay, good, good. So you're a teacher. What do you teach, Anna? I mean, Cristina. <laughs> <laughs> what, is your what teacher? What do you teach? What is the subject that you that, that is the the speciality for you? Ah, uh, math, social studies, science, geography, geography, I mean, geography, and history of Spain. Ah, okay. Es una, es una asignatura eh, de convenio del colegio, del colegio de español, el colegio español Padre Arrupe. Oh. Y, um, y mi asignatura es una asignatura de convenio. Mm -hmm. Es la que les da la doble titulación en el colegio. Es una asignatura que se da a partir de cuarto grado hasta bachillerato. Interesante. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, great, Cristina. Okay, cool. As I as I told Guillermo, help me out choosing the next participant, Cristina. Okay. Um los de cámara apagada que sean prioridad. Pedro Salazar. Ah, no, no me fijen eso, sino que en la lista de los participantes. Pedro Salazar. Yeah, he, he is with the camera off. Okay, thank you, Cristina. Pedro? Okay, teacher. The mission of my company is advise independently and objectively through the evaluation of the corporate internal control system. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. There you go. You just did only the mission? Pardon? Okay, uh, that's all you have, right? In your mission. Okay, good. So, solo me hizo la misión, correcto? Yes, sí. Perfect. Okay, no problem. Help me out choosing the next one, please. The next participant. Thank you, by the way. Ayúdeme a escoger el próximo. Um, Adi. Adi. Ok. Thank you, Pedro. All right, Adi. Hi. Ok. Um, yo comparto la misma misión que Cristina porque trabajamos en el mismo lugar. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Okay, but help me out reading. Ah, you're, you're a teacher. You're a teacher as well. Yes. Man, you are very well. You look very young. How old are you, Beatrice? Um, twenty-five years old. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean you're very young. Okay. Impartimos <laughs> la misma asignatura, teacher. Impartimos ah, la misma. Really? Ah, really? That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, but read, read the same statement then. No problem. Okay. <laughs> to, to provide... Provide? To provide comprehensive quality education taking into account the socio-affective and economic characteristics of vulnerable sectors on, 
of Salvadorian society. Society? Uh -huh. Society. Ah, okay. Very good. All right. So, which levels do you teach that subject, Beatriz? Um, cuarto, quinto, y dos sexto grado. Ah, okay. Good. In yes. the upper levels, uh, Cristina is in church. Yes. Ah, okay. Los otros dos sextos, séptimos, octavos y novenos. Ah, mira, that's cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> Working as a teacher in a private institution, oof, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of pressure, yeah, and you need patience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I have been, I, I worked back in the past. Now I don't work uh, as a teacher in, 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 in the schools, private schools, but back in the past, I was a teacher in a private institution uh, that actually was a religious private institution, a very recognized private institution. But yeah, I mean, that's stressing to work with a lot of students. I used to have, because my, my, my field, my, my, my fort is English. Right, so I was teaching English to kids, listen, from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Oh, de primero a sexto grado, y en las tardes era de séptimo a bachillerato. Imagínense, wow. Just imagine, imagínense tener la sección que menos estudiantes tenía tenía 17 las de los otros las de los otros son de 36 estudiantes cada yeah. sección tenemos cuatro secciones por cada grado o sea, yo tengo más de 500 alumnos casi <risa> damos dos horas semanales yo y después mejor de la... no lo cuento para no estresarme <risa> y después de la pandemia eh, ha sido más difícil dicho, más difícil se, se observa exageradamente el, el retraso que se ha tenido en el desarrollo cognitivo, desarrollo en every psicosocial, emocional. Oh. Yes, it's, it's huge that, but yeah, man, it's stressing. Ah. Ay, ya no quiero acordarme de eso. Ah, así que. A veces yo les digo a los estudiantes, cuando ustedes vean a una teacher o un teacher que anda siempre molesto, no crean que es solo porque ustedes, eh, solo por, por molestar, les digo, sino porque el estrés es grande a veces. ¿no? <ríe> y ellos que no colaboran. <ríe> so, no, teacher, no, pero pero no. todo, se, todo, todo se, se, se termina cuando mira los ojitos, la carita y dice, mis la quiero. Exactly, that, that, that happens. That's true. <laughs> y ahí es donde usted dice, vale la pena. <laughs> It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know what you mean. I know. Good. Beatriz, help me out choosing the next one, please. Okay. Marvin Alexander. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> oh, perdón, Marvin. <laughs> uh, teacher, uh... No encontré la misión ni la visión de mi empresa y no me acuerdo, pero aquí intenté hacer una. Ok. You're honest, brother. That's, that's the good part, right? Lo bueno es que es honesto. Ok, sí. good. Let's go. Sin miedo al éxito, okay. Martín. <laughs> to be an efficient company in El Salvador. Uh -huh. Providing the best work environment in the textile area. Solo esa is it. The textile the area. <laughs> okay, good. No problem, Arvid. Actually, that's yeah. a good that's a good statement. Okay. <laughs> you should learn it, Marvin. Okay, that's cool. Help me in choosing the next participant, Marvin. Permítame, teacher. Marvin, you Graciela. have homework for tomorrow. Graciela, okay. 
Okay. The mission of the business where I work is give value, quality, and ergonomics to your workspace. Oh, okay. Good. Solo que hay que agregarle el to al principio. Okay? To give value. Exactly. Okay. okay. Very good. There you go. Uh, thank you, Graciela. So help me on choosing the next one. Okay, let me see. Te encontré. Evelyn. <laughs> okay. ¿Y por qué dice te encontré? <laughs> you were searching for her. Ah, okay, okay. Y yo tratando de esconderme. <ríe> eh, a mí me pasa igual que Marvin porque no encontré la de mi empresa, pero puse otra. Visión, visión. Ok, ok. <ríe> Read it, please. Our mission is to help you do things. Mm -hmm. Better. Imagine to how you achieve your goals and objectives. And objectives, okay. Vision. That's the vision. Vision. Our vision is to be the best and um, offer innovative products. Mm -hmm. Finish. Ah, okay. All right. There you go. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Evelyn. Help me choose in the next one, please. Evelyn. Yeah, me. Katia Maria. Ah, okay. Where is Katia? Ah. Uh. Okay, good. Okay. Um, our mission is to be the commercial leader of the portfolio innovate, of innovate high quality products loyal to our customer by creating, producing, and distributing with excellent solution for well being and health. And our vision is to consolidate. consolidate the leaderships of the Grupo Pai in the national and international market, committed to providing an excellence. Wow, okay, very good. That's a well steady, uh, steady mission and vision. Very good, Katia. Now, help me out choosing the, the, the next participant. Very few are left. Okay. Mm. The next, uh, Susana Carolina. Susana Carolina, okay. Thank you, Katia. Susana, you there? Susana. Hmm. I guess Susana is not there. Oh, maybe she's falling asleep. Is my, is my bus teacher. Ah? Hello, excuse me. Ah, oh, is that she's there? <laughs> Perdón, que fui al baño rapidito, teacher. Perdón. <laughs> okay, okay, good. All right, uh, give me one second, Susana. Adi, did you say something? Ella es mi jefa. <laughs> ah, really? Okay. Susana, turn on your 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 camera. I want to know you. I want to see you. Aquí estoy. <laughs> ah, okay. So you're you're I'm her boss. Sorry, but so you are. Uh, I have uh, a, a little bad in my de mi salud. Estoy un poco mal de salud y este por eso no había encendido mi cámara. Teacher, lo siento. Okay, no problem, no problem. Solo quería conocerla. Isabel, aquí es estoy. Cierto. <laughs> You're Alice's boss. A ver si es cierto, creo yo. Sí, aquí estoy. Exactly. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, so, uh, do you have the mission? Yes. 
Okay, good. Vamos a leer. Is a, is a, I guess that. Okay. To provide comprehensive quality education, talking into account the socio-effective and economic character, uh, characteristics, no sé cómo se dice eso, of vulnerable sectors of Salvadorian society. 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 Yes. Okay. Very good. So basically, you share the same uh, statement with Ali and uh, Christina, right? Yes, I am a coordinator of first and second level of basic education. I mean, that's great. That is cool. <laughs> so you you share the same stress as Christina and Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Por eso estoy mal de salud ahorita. Ah, ok, ok. Mucho estrés. Sí, ya me imagino. En Adi así como que nadie se ha visto. Ok, ok. There you go. Good. So, who else is missing, guys? Juan, did you participate already? I think so. No. Ok, good. Help me out reading yours, please. Ok. The company's mission uh, to be a uh, reliable, reliable and in innovative electric power company uh, recognized in the Ryan for our leadership and quality of service. Okay, very good. So that's an electrical company. Okay, very good one. There you go. Now, who's next? Uh, let me see. Rosalie, have you participated? All right. I haven't heard you participating. Ambition, ambition no. Okay, good. Let me out reading. Our mission is to be the commercial leader of a portfolio of innovative, high quality product, products, mm -hmm. loyalty to our what? customers. Uh -huh. Customers by creating, producing, and distributing with excellent solution for well-being and health. Mm -hmm. Our our vision is consolidate the leadership of Group Pile in the national and international market, committed to the profit profitability. Profitability. Profitability and okay. excellent. Ah, and excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, let me see. Who else is busy, guys? Who me falta? Because I got lost. Okay, Teresa, let's read. Okay. Thanks. Um, to work for an for free and prosperous country. Ah, to work for free in a prosperous country. Eh, me das short, yeah. but a cons concise. Okay, me das cool. Thank you, Teresa. Let me see. Somebody else that might be missing, guys? Alguien más que falte? Yo, teacher, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, let's go. Our mission is to be in the business of manufacturing and distribution of plastic footwear for the national and international market. Okay, very good. A well statement. Thank you, Carlos. Very good. Okay, good. So I think you're the last one. Creo que, yeah. Debo suponer que usted era el último. Okay, guys. So let's continue with this. I think you were the last one. Now, if you take a look in here, and here we have a short conversation practice, guys, related to the topic that we have been discussing, okay? In here, it is stated, if you see in bold, the uses of infinitives, okay? It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So we have a conversation between Diana and Celia. I'm gonna read this conversation two times at the same, 
And then, all right, if you want to follow up my reading, please turn on the microphone, turn off the microphone and read with me, okay? So let's start with Diana. It says, did you hear, listen up, did you hear about the visit, about the visit of the manager today? Of the manager today? Celia says, I did. I did. We should, we should be ready to answer questions. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission, about the mission and the vision of the company and the vision of the company. Diana says, let's read them. Let's read them. Celia says, okay. Our mission is, our mission is to make our guests, to make our guests feel at home, feel at home from check in, from check in to check out, to check out. Diana says, right, right. Our mission describes, our mission describes why our business exists. Why our business exists. Celia says, and our vision, and our vision is to become is to become the most preferred, the most preferred beach hotel, beach hotel by families, by families by 2020, by 2020. Diana says, that's right. That's right. Our mission, our vision, listen, our vision tells, tells where our business, where our business wants to get in the future wants to get in the future. Okay, guys, with this short conversation that you got over here, do you have any question with the vocabulary? Tenemos alguna pregunta con el vocabulario en esta pequeña conversación? Alguna palabra que no conozcamos, pronunciación que no, 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 Sepamos. What is the meaning guest? Guest. Okay. Guest. guest means invitados o en este caso, si es una fiesta sería guest, invitados, pero si es a un hotel es huésped. Okay? Huésped. That is a guest. Okay, something else, guys? Alguna otra palabra? Something that we have problems with, que tengamos inconvenientes? For example, what is a check-in? Okay. 
Do we understand what is a check-in and check-out, guys? In simple words, remember, if you go to a hotel, check-in is when you... Uh, Registrarse. Exactly. Registrarse, right? Al principio. And check-out is registrarse, pero ya de salida. Mm. Exactly. There's a check-in and check-out. Okay, good. So I guess we don't have any questions with this. Creo que no tenemos ningún inconveniente con el vocabulario restante. Okay, what are we going to do, guys, with this? Nos vamos a, los voy a separar en parejas porque quiero que me practiquen esta conversación por un par de minutos, right? Más que todo para practicar el vocabulario y, y ir ganando un poco más de, de, de fluidez a través de la práctica, okay? So, me gustaría saber si todos podemos participar o hay alguno que esté de oyente por ahora y no pueda participar. Todos pueden. Uh, and I'm talking mostly about the people who are with the cameras off. Carlos Rivas, Susana, Kenia, Jacqueline, Teresa Noemi, Brian Aldair, Carlos Enrique, Pedro Salazar, Maritza Elizabeth, and Irma del Tránsito. Can you participate, guys? Pueden participar? Sí, teacher. Yes. Disculpe, teacher, pero ahorita yes. tengo enferma a mi hijo. No estoy participando y voy ahorita a sacarle un examen. Lo siento. Ok, Kenia. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por decírmelo. Lo voy a poner acá. Give me one second. Ah, no, 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 no. Rename. La voy a poner como listener. Lo voy a poner así. Para ya tener registro de que pues por ahora no puede participar. Y así para no incluirla y, y, y pues no vaya a poder hacerlo. Ok. Al menos va a estar de oyente. Gracias. Ok. Los demás. Ok. Perfecto. Los demás sí podemos. Right. Good. Yes. Perfecto. So I'm going to stop sharing this. Ya que todos tienen el manual. Entonces nos vamos a esa página. Vamos a participar eh, vamos a practicar la conversación un par de minutos y yo les voy a hacer saber cuando ya volvamos acá a la sección principal y acá me van a leer ya en parejas la conversación just you know like just to listen the practice that you might have so right now you got 19 people give me a second voy a asignar de manera manual Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I think I got another one. Can you really see that? Give me a second, guys. I'm just doing this. Okay, perfect. Good. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to practice that short conversation. Then we're going to come back, okay? 
Démosle aceptar ahí, por favor, y nos vamos a practicar esa pequeña conversación por un par de minutos. Guys, try to, try to enter to the breakout rooms, please. Teacher, a mí no me aparece nada para agregarme a algún grupo. Really? Ah, pero ya está acá. Salió por unos microsegundos al inicio cuando usted lo dijo, pero luego se borró, no sé. En serio, permítame un segundo. Susana, Kenia, Maritza. Permítame, Maritza, can you, can you enter to the breakout room? I need you to be there, please. Ok, ahorita la voy a mover de grupo y la voy a, a volver a enviar a, a la sección donde la había mandado. Ok, permítame. ¿Ahora le parece? Susana. Me había unido a la sección 6, pero luego me regresó a esta sala. <ríe> Estaba cargando bueno. y luego me regresó a esta. Oh my God. Permítame, la voy a mandar de nuevo a la sección 6. Una vez ahí, la voy a reenviar a la sección 7 porque ahí está su compañera esperándola, ¿ok? Ok, bueno. Genial. Carlos. Are you there, mister? I'm going to resend this in. Uh, uh, Hello, Brian. Uh, I'm sorry. Lo tuve que mover porque su compañero aparentemente como que tuvo problemas y no pudo entrar. Ah, uh, ok. Está bien. No hay problema. Ok, cool. Uh, yeah, you can practice with uh, Beatriz and Cristina. Hey, Ay, Beatriz me dice. Ah, Lili. <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok. okay. A ver. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, teacher, sorry. Pre preferences, okay. I mean, no problem, no problem. Good. Okay. Hey, y, ¿cómo está eso que me quedaron las dos compañeras de trabajo juntas? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, no problem. Okay, uh, what you can do in this case, lo que pueden hacer es. Practicar entre ustedes dos, luego Cristina puede practicar con Brian y luego Brian con, con Adi. ¿Ok? okay. Let's do okay, it like, like okay. Start, okay? Excellent. Nice. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Bueno. <laughs> And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by the... 2020. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, right? Our vision, the square of business grant to head in the future. Okay. Hoy comienza usted. O yo comienzo, ¿verdad? Ajá, usted, usted, que termine. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. I did. We saw the ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. 
Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our kids feel at home from sit, sit in to sit out. Right, our mission. Salga de ahí, man. <laughs> Vamos a practicar una vez más, pues. <laughs> Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? No se le escucha, Graciela. ¿Ahora? Sí, hoy sí. Ok. I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from checking to checkout. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel Hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Excellent. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know each other? I cannot. Yes. Yes. In I the know. past model? Ah, in, in the previous module? Ah, you, were, you were classmates. That's cool. Yes. Ah, okay. Casi la mitad del grupo estamos del, del, del módulo anterior. Ay, qué genial. Eso es genial. Uh -huh. Sí, casi siempre he estado en, en grupos en los que se han, se han unido, pero de otros grupos han estado bien, bien mixtos. Ah. No, si nosotros, por ejemplo, las, las compañeritas del padre Rupe, uh -huh. Evelyn. Yes. Marita. No. Hemos estado juntos. I mean, that's nice. Eso uh -huh. es bien. Sí, se sienten más en confianza en everything. That is cool. Yeah. That, is, that is cool. Qué genial. All right. So, continue practicing. I will go to check on uh, other people. Y luego nos vamos a la sección principal, ¿ok? Nada más reviso. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Let's read Okay, our mission is to make it or or get a a home from check in the check out. To check out. Right. To come. Right. Our mission is clear the way or the bus we go to miss exit. Okay, okay. Let's 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 read it again. Listen. Our mission, repeat. Our mission describes describe why our business why our business exists. Exists. Excellent. Okay. Uh, our vision is to become the most preferred fix hotel by family by 2020. Okay, la palabra hotel, hotel uh -huh. is in Spanish, pero en inglés se pronuncia como, uh, como una J al principio, hotel, okay? Hotel. Yes, esa es la pronunciación okay. en inglés, okay? Very good. Okay. Right. That's right. Our vision, there were all bus, 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 business, 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 business. Uh -huh. want to get in the future, 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 exactly, very good, future, 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 that's the word, teacher, 20 and 2020, yeah, ahí puede decir, 2020. 2020. 20, exactly. 2020. 
Ok, bien. Reviso otro grupo más y luego nos vamos a la sección principal y los, los quiero escuchar ahí, ¿ok? Ok. Nice. Buenas Hello, people. Did you practice? Hola, teacher. Sí, estábamos practicando, pero escuché que a ella le comenzó a llorar el bebé. Entonces se desconectó de pronto. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok, perfecto. ¿Pero lograron practicar un poco? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Gracias por eso. Genial, genial. Ok, cool. ¿Everything ok, Rosalind? Sí, okay? ya, ya, teacher. Ya. Perfect, sí, ya. Perfecto. Gracias. Good, good. ¿Cuántos, cuántos, cuánto, ¿Cuánto tiene su, su bebé? Un año, diez meses. Ah, un año, diez meses. Ok. Ya está grandecito. Yes. <risa> El mío apenas tiene 18 meses. Año seis. Año seis meses. Ajá, año y medio. That is cool. El mío es cuatro meses mayor. <risa> Terremotos cuando están a esa edad, Ray. <risa> Sí, demasiado. Oh, yes. Ok, good. Bueno, los voy a querer escuchar entonces en la, en la main section, en la sección principal. Uh, los veo allá, ok. Ok, teacher. Está bien, gracias. Ok. Right, so everybody's coming back. No quieren regresar los compañeros. <laughs> I'm here. That's nice, that's nice. O no quieren regresar o ya se desconectaron. <laughs> What happened? Ah, no, 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 ahí vienen ya. They are coming. Okay, great. So I'm going to share uh, the manual. Give me a second, guys. Where is my man? Okay, it's el manual. Okay, I got it here. Here it is. And share. Okay, cool. ¿Quién quiere ser la primer pareja voluntaria que me diga yo, teacher? Nosotros vamos a hacer los primeros. We're going to break out the eyes and everything. Adi y yo. O Brian y yo, como sea. Ah, okay, cool. Ahí llegó. Y Brian así como que quería ser el último. No, no hay problema. No, no él me ser. dijo que quería ser el primero. Ahí en el ah, grupo. Okay. Brian and yeah. Cristina. Ok, listen. First. So, entonces, I want to listen. Cristina, and, uh, Cristina with Brian and then Brian with Adi. Ok. And then I'm going to finish with Adi and Cristina. Like a circle, ok. Ok. Let's start. Okay. Brian, uh, Celia or Diana? Uh, Celia. Okay. Mm, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel um, home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. Um, our vision is, is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Excellent. Very good. Remember, only one, one uh, thing. La palabra hotel en inglés es al principio es como una J. Hotel. Porque en español es hotel. Okay. So in English es como cuando pronunciamos palabras como hello, hi. Inician con H. 
casi en toda la mayoría de palabras en inglés que inician con H, eh, la pronunciación al principio es como con una J, ¿ok? Hotel, right? Very good. Good. Now, Brian, I want you to be Diana and Adi will be Celia, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to ask her question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes we are business exits. And our vision is is to become the most the most preferred beach hotel by families by two homes by two thousand to thousand to two thousand twenty twenty yes that's uh, that's right our mission the where or business want to get in the future future Future. Excellent. Okay. Good. Now, let's finish up this rounds of uh, cycles. Adi, now you're Diana and, and uh, Cristina is Celia. Celia. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. Ex and our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Adi. Thank you, Brian and Christina. You did it excellent. Very good. Now, Marvin, who were you working with? Eh, con Pedro. Okay, cool. Let's start, guys. Okay. Listo, Pedro. Yes. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exits. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Marvin, and thank you, Pedro. You did it excellent. Good. Now, Guillermo. And if I'm not wrong, Graciela. Okay. There you go, guys. Let's go. Um, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. You should be ready to answer questions about the mission. Uh, Graciela, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think you have problems with the microphone. Sometimes. Ah, is that? There, there you go. Can I repeat? ¿Puedo repetirlo? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. 
our mission is to make our guest feel at home from checking to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our, beach, uh, our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Guillermo and Graciela. Now, uh, Katia, who are you working with? We meet JC. Hi. One. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by 2020 or 2020. That's, that's right. Our vision tells that our business wants to get in the future. Okay, very good. Thank you, Katia and Juan. Good job, good job. Now, Rosalie, who are you working with? Yes, teacher. You were working with uh, Evelyn? No. No, who were you working with? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember the, na the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who was working with Rosalie? Conmigo. Ah, Teresa, Teresa. Okay, good. No soy tacaña. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from checking to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our, our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel, hotel, hotel mm -hmm. by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rosalie and Teresa. Nice. Let me see who else. Evelyn, who are you working with? Carlos. Ah, with Carlos. Okay, let's go. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Evelyn, you got the microphone off. <laughs> I did. We saw we ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our okay, okay feel at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes what our business exists. Um, our vision is to become the most preferred big hotel by families by 2020. 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business want to get in the future. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos and Evelyn. Good job, guys. Now, uh, Maritza. Who were you working with? With me, Susana. Okay. Let's go. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should to uh, be ready to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read then. Okay. 
our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred vision hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza. And thank you, Susana. Okay, very good. Now, who's missing? Let me see. Teacher, we are on time. Yeah, yeah, we are about to finish. Give me one second. Ya casi terminamos, miss. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Jacqueline, you there? Hello. Okay, who were you working with? <laughs> okay, who was working with Jacqueline? With Irma? Okay. Okay, good. Let's go, let's practice. Okay, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did we so he ready to ask more questions of the mission and the vision of the of the company. Let's read James. Okay, our mission is to make it our okay. our works over fit and to hold on check it on to check on. Right, our mission des describes why our business, business exits. Okay. And our vision is to become the most perfect this hotel by family by, by 2020. 2020. Okay, good. That's right. Our vision that where all business want to get in the future. Ah, uh, okay. Very good. Thank you, Irma and Jacqueline. Good job. All right, guys. Creo que ustedes eran la última parejita que me faltaba. I guess. Da, 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 da. Yes. Okay, guys. Listen up. By tomorrow we will continue with this. Mañana vamos a continuar con esta parte. Okay. What we got over here. Uh and uh, this activity that we got left over here, okay? Creo que nos va a servir como una retroalimentación sobre lo que hemos discutido este día, okay, en esta sección. Así que voy a pasar asistencia y me disculpo por ese par de minutitos que me pasé con ustedes. Casi siempre lo hago en las, en los, en las clases, no sé. Sometimes like, como que el tiempo no ajusta, así que sorry for that guys, okay? But it's part no of worries. the process. All right, good. Now I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list. Voy a pasar asistencia and then we can leave. All right. The only person that is going to stay with me is Adi. You there, Adi? Present. Okay, Adi. Uh, okay. I'm going to start with you with, with the 10 minutes feedback. So please stay with me for a while after class, okay? Okay, teacher. Nice. Me quedo un par de minutos después de clase, ¿ok? Vamos a regañar. Ana Cristina. Present, teacher. Ok, nice. Uh, Brian Aldair. Present. Good night. Excellent. Good night, okay. mister. Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. Elias de León. They got a lot of Carlos. In there. Okay, so but he's not here. Uh, Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Claudia Marcela. Claudia Marcela. Okay, so. All right, so she's not here. Uh, Doris Alejandra. Doris Alejandra. Okay, so she's not here. Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. 
Graciela Saraí. Present. Ok, excelente. Guillermo Eduardo. Present. Nice. Irma del Tránsito. Present, teacher. Ok, good. Jacqueline Ivonne. Jacqueline Ivonne. Present, teacher. Ah, ok, excelente. Juan Carlos. I am here. Ok, perfect. Perfect. Katia María. Present. Ok, nice. Uh, Kenia Maricela. Kenia Maricela. Ok, so she's not here. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Ok, good. Uh, Marvin Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Pedro, uh, Pedro Rigoberto. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Rosalí Ivonne. Present. Nice. Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, miss. And the last one, Teresa Noemi. Present teacher. Ok, good. So, gracias por haberse conectado a esta sesión, guys. Los espero mañana en la segunda sesión, ok? Espero tengan una excelente noche. Adi, no se me vaya. All right. Bye, bye, guys. Good night, everybody. Good See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Okay, thank you, teacher. Good night. See you. Okay. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Teacher, solo un favor. Yes. Si pudiera, pudiera volvernos a compartir en el grupo la, el enlace de la plataforma, por favor. Ah, va, perfecto, perfecto. Ya se lo comparto. Thank you. No problema. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Ok, Adi. So, this couple Hi, of minutes, uh, this couple of minutes is just for us to clarify any question any doubt that you might have with this oh, class. Okay. So I don't know if everything is okay or if you have any question. Pues la verdad ni sentí las dos horas. No me había dado cuenta que ya eran las diez casi. Me gustó bastante la clase. Really? Um, Thank you, man. That's esperamos cool. que así sea siempre divertido, vea. Claro. Eh, que de positivo. Eh. Y que nos explique las partes, porque ajá, a veces yo por, hablo por mí, ¿verdad? porque hay mm. quienes que lo entienden a la primera, pero yo sí necesito que me digan las cosas despacito para poder entender. Es no problema, así vamos a hacer. A mí siempre me gusta hacer este tipo de clases así, eh, bastante explicativos, más que todo en el aspecto uh -huh. gramatical, antes de ponerlos a la práctica, porque así, uh -huh. pues, digamos que. Vamos un poco más con conocimiento y no nos confundimos demasiado al momento okay. de las actividades. Right? Thank you, teacher. Ah, ok. Yeah, sí. Ya, por cierto, ya me metí a la plataforma e hice el, la primera prueba. Ah, perfecto. Solo perfecto. la uno, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Only number one. Ok, ese, okay. ese está más que Perfect. excelente. Good. Entonces, okay. ¿todo bien hasta acá? Everything Todo okay? bien, teacher. Ok, good, good, Abby. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Entonces, si es así, pues la dejo descansar y pues nos vemos mañana, ok? Gracias, igual. Ok, See you tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ok, so basically, uh, we have finished with uh, the class number one. So the topic for most of the students was pretty simple, was pretty easy. And it was how to use infinitives, right? So, and just as a brief summary or sum up of what we were doing, it's like, remember, we use infinitives basically to show, all right, to show or express purpose, mostly related to the topic that we were, you know, focusing the grammar part that was about the creation of the mission and vision of a company, right? So basically, when you use infinitives to create a mission, it's basically uh, expressing a purpose, right? And when you talk about the vision statement of a company, we use infinitives to show 
or express direction. So in other words, is it expresses where the company is going, right? So the students were providing examples related to the mission and vision of their companies. They were practicing uh, this conversation that you see over here. So the class was very interactive for them. Uh, we are missing a couple of examples over here and we are missing uh, this lecture, right? So it, it is missing this part that we're gonna complement tomorrow. This is like going to be as a review for them, right? And this short activity that we have over here. So in that case, basically it's like, I'm talking about everything that is stated in the manual, okay? Everything that is stated in the manual, right? So students are going to be practicing mostly uh, the activities that are in the manual, right? related to this. So that was part of what we were doing uh, tonight. So remember, to form an infinitive, you use the preposition to, right? So that's the preposition that we generally use when creating the infinitive form, all right? And an infinitive can go after a verb, remember that? Verbs like want, feel, uh, need, right? Those uh, verbs are generally used, uh, an infinitive after them. And also we can use, remember, we can use an infinitive as the subject of the sentence, right? Like at the beginning of the sentence. For example, if I say, to study English is part of our daily life. So in that case, to study is the infinitive, right? And it's acting like the noun of the sentence. So basically that's everything for tonight, right? And I hope to see everybody in the next video conference the following day. So good night, everybody.